Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the questions I get asked often is, what are all these icons and what are all the software you're using? Every time you show us you know, what you have in the start menu, we look at the different icons that's there and you can look at the apps list and you see tons of things in here that, that will not be part of a lot of the PCs. And the question that comes to mind for a lot of people is, well, he's the tech guy. He's telling us, you know, all of these things and what to do. Then we might need the software also. See, if you've got them, why not us? And here's the thing about that question that I get probably every week. I, I would say that um, I don't think a week goes by without somebody saying, hey, what's all the software you got? So first of all, you got to remember that a PC is a very personal thing. Your computer is going to have the software that you use, you need, and be configured the way that you like it, uh, which is why it's complex in Windows when you move on from one Windows to the other. You sometimes the habits change, and you have to you have to know how to put things back the way they were um, when you start from scratch. Uh, this is something that is um, nice on the Mac Apple side is that the way that the transition from one machine to the other is done is that you can easily transfer from an old Mac to a new Mac and everything looks the same, feels the same, works the same. And f for that, you know, they, there's a great advantage there. In Windows... Uh, it's a little more complex. Often you get a new PC, and for things to be the same as they were before, you need to tweak. Sometimes it's things that you do that, you know, you forgot how it, you know, where, how did I do this, and how was this, or sometimes maybe a tech guy did it for you. So it's it's for a lot of people when they are feel lost when they have a new PC. It's rarely because of the Windows operating system, which is almost always very similar. Uh, there isn't really that much difference in Windows 11. But, once again, the big problem is that people don't understand that the configuration, the way that it was set up on your old machine, on your old PC, that is what's missing. That's what you don't realize. And it has nothing to do with Windows. It has all to do with, yeah, because your old computer was configured in that way. And that is not something that is done automatically in Windows. That's something that was done for you by a tech guy, or maybe you did it yourself over time. So that's why sometimes people get lost because it's like, well, I don't have this, I don't have that. It's like, yeah, because a lot of what you are saying isn't even part of Windows. It's part of other software that you had installed maybe on the older PC that you don't have here. So the transition could be tougher for some because of that. Anyways, what do I have here? The first question I get is, why the hell do you have so many Edge browsers and why are these all three different browsers here? Uh, well, like Windows, I'm on the Insider program on this machine. You can see it here. That's why there's a watermark on the bottom right. I'm in the Canary channel. Uh, the Edge browser also has a... Uh, inside a program, you can have different versions of uh, Edge that are being tested. So there's a dev, there's a canary, there's the beta, there's the regular one. Uh, each one has a different uh, build number. So for example, if you look here on the dev one, if I go into the upper right corner and check, um, you know, for my version of Edge and an update. Now, I'm at version 120 here. Now you're gonna say, but I'm on version 118. Yeah, because these versions, I'm testing future versions before they arrive to the standard version. So that's why, this is Edge Insiders. So it's different versions of Edge that I'm testing. Uh, of course, then I've got Word because I'm a big um, Microsoft Office user. So Word and uh, Excel are the, probably the two software I use the most there in the uh, Microsoft Office uh, suite. Microsoft Store. Then there's some very unique things that are unique to me 
uh, for example, this, this is, is, is SDR console. Um, I could actually match it to this here, which is SDR Uno, and this icon here, FLDG, and the other one here at the end, SDR Connect. You notice they have all SDR in the name. This is a very specific thing because I also use my PCs for my hobbies and for my radio channel that I also have on YouTube. These are software that control a radio that um, have something to do with radio. I also am an amateur radio operator, so I got control software for the radios. I've got all sorts of things. So that's what you have here. This is not something that regular folks will have. This is also where I say all the time to everybody, uh, when somebody says, well, you know, uh, you can all use Linux and forget Windows. Well, no, because all of this stuff here, there's a few things that are Linux compatible, but most of what I do on a radio isn't compatible with Linux. I would be uh, pretty sad using Linux, and it would be very boring for me um, because of that, because there's a lot of very unique stuff that are only Windows, and that's where, and that's why Windows dominates, uh, and well, that will not change. Uh, then I've got shortcuts of, of websites, simply. So, you know, I've got space.com and space weather and so on, uh, because I've put some uh, shortcuts on my taskbar to make it easier for me to go to a website, simple as that. So that's the other thing. So these icons here are really web shortcuts for different websites. And of course, there's different browsers and different things. But overall, is there something in here that, you know, oh, well, we should have to? Not really. Uh, this is mostly my way of, you know, having my software work. And, um, you know, you don't have to. You don't have to have any of that. And um, the way you are set up is probably fine. So this hopefully answers the questions that all of you have been asking about. All the software I got. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.